Well, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month with an exclusive look at a favorite, a favorite East Texas staple. I think you got a first-hand look at this one, didn't you? Raina? I sure did. I had the wonderful privilege of sitting down with a resilient Mexican woman who dared to dream big, all while inspiring many in the Rose City. This is Ruby's Mexican Restaurant. Meet a woman who has endured many challenges, a wife, mother, and business owner, Ruby Abarca. I started this whole dream once the COVID pandemic began. While I was out of work, I started selling food out of my mother's home. And that's how it all got started. Thanks be to God. From humble beginnings and just $21 in her pocket, Ruby always dreamed of sharing her rich cultural heritage with the world. With a passion for cooking, she embarked on a journey that would later transform into a leading success in Tyler. The girl who helped take care of ourselves would start cooking and I would always ask, what are you putting in it? And she would respond, if you want it to be more spicy and flavorful, add more tomatoes, less chilies. Along with these cherished memories with her family, she brought the taste of Mexico to Tyler. Fox 51 News got an exclusive behind the scenes tour of one of her kitchens. A place where hard work and a touch of love are served up daily. We asked about her personal favorite dishes. Bueno, a mí en lo personal, pues los... For me personally, it has to be the doblados. Everyone really likes that entree and the red enchiladas. But right now, our menu is very extensive. Thanks be to God. From carne asada tacos, chilaquiles, and enchiladas, and much, much more, two more brick and mortar locations are set to come to a place near you. Well, she does a lot for the community too. You know, she helps the homeless people that whenever they come and get some food, we give them some food, you know. Now a well-known name that's grown on the rose vine, her story has inspired countless others to do the same, including those in her community featured in the 90th Texas Rose Festival Parade. See, whoever's going over there to be a part of that, be proud of that, you know, show everything you guys have whenever you have your quinceanera, you know, bring all this stuff, you bring that to that day, you know, like show up, you know, you know, be proud of that. No, represent all, all the Latino. Reminding everyone that no matter where we come from, dreams can truly take you to extraordinary heights. Viva La Rosa! Well, we know many of you are just too excited for Ruby's Tacos. She shares many East Texans stay around until 3 a.m. for their taco fix, all thanks to the first food truck she has. Not to worry, she will be serving up the flavors of Mexico at new locations set to open in late October, along with a second food truck coming soon. 3 a.m., that's our breakfast time, Raina. That's when we're pulling into work. Oh, I know, but hey, she is a hardworking woman and much respect for her. And the food looks awesome. Outstanding looks customer so service and everything. It's just, it, and she feeds the homeless. For those in need, wow. they come in. While I was there, they come in and she helped them. And so it was really touching to watch. Awesome. Um, East Texans taking care of East Texans. So oh, gotta love yeah, that. Yeah. You gotta love good food. Yes. That's a great story. You did a good job on Thank it. Thank you. Well, hey, 